Well, well, well. Addict, then Kent. And here we are again. On day 16. 16! 16! You know, I have time in in this program. And I have yet to open this book, this Just For Today book, and not been amazed with the topic at least once, sometimes, twice a week, sometimes, every day of the week. Today is one of those days. Emotional balance. I can't stress that enough. Emotional balance is one of the first results of medication. And our experience bears this out. Though each of us defines emotional balance a little differently then all must find emotional balance can mean finding and maintaining a positive outlook on life regardless of what may be happening around us to some it might mean an understanding of the emotions and allows us to respond not respect to the feeling it came mean that experience of our feelings in increasingly as we can while also monitoring their expressive expressions emotional balance comes with practice and prayer and meditation we get quiet and share our thoughts and hopes and concerns with God of our understanding and we listen for guidance aware of the power to act on direction eventually our skills in maintaining near balanced get great and get better and the wild up and down emotional swings we used to experience begin to settle we develop an ability to let others feel their feelings and have no need to judge them we full embrace our own personal range of emotions just for today though through regular prayer and meditation I will discover what emotional balance is to me I so wish I could tell you it was that easy, that you're going to pray and it's miraculously going to pop in your head. No. <laughs> How I wish. I wish I could take this and give it to you. It's so serene. It's so perfect. It's so blessing. And so I had a horrible day, but I never lost my composure. Okay. Yes, I felt sad. Yes, I felt hurt. Yes, I felt betrayed. But I never lost my composure. <sighs> As time goes on in this program, 
it gets easier to get back. I call it center. Okay, there's left wing and right wing, or left field and right field, depending on what sport you like. It doesn't matter what scenario you use. Okay. But the thing about it is that we must stay on center. It's so important we do that. And I can't stress enough how important God is to do that for me. I couldn't do it otherwise. I'm a basket case, man. I'm a nut bar. Okay, I freak out at the drop of a penny, man. Penny? A feather, man. I flip out. You know, I'm a nutcase. Really am. But through the compassion and understanding and drawing closer to God, I get further and further and further away from my bad attitudes and my character defects. It's a lifelong process, okay? I, by the grace of God, walked in to Narcotics Anonymous and my addiction was gone because I realized at that point that I'm going to get this or I'm going to die. That's my choice. Live or die. In a nutshell, that was it. Do I want to take my life and end it until I get it right? Or do I want to stop this insanity of being on the same cotton picking wheel and not getting anywhere? How many of us have had rats or mice or gerbils or hamsters as a kid? And we see that animal going round and round, that road and round and round the wheel. And every once in a while they miss a step and they go... Right? <laughs> That's what we do. You know? We're running, 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 and finally we lose our stepping ball. And that's when we have our ha ha moment where it's like, I get it. I don't have to use. Today, I wake up every single solitary morning just like you do, and I say to myself, I don't have to use today. I'm having a crappy day. I get hurt. I get betrayed. I get my feelings stepped on. I get angry. I get upset. I don't sit there and wallow in it. I step out of it and say, okay, come on, come on, higher power. Lift me over here, and like a big crane, it reaches down, picks me out of the muck and mire, and sets me back on solid ground. Or start over. And when the earthquake happens, I fall in again, or I reach out sooner. It does get sooner after a while. I can't stress this enough how important emotional balance is. Emotional balance is very simple. Family, friends, life. In that order. But with family, you have to understand that God comes with that. Because without God, I would not have my family. God bless you.